Hi, I'm going to show you how to use a free tool to investigate the origin of the video. Let's say you find a video online and want to verify it. A free tool, co-developed by AFP, can help you find if that video or a similar one has been published elsewhere. Let's take a look at this video. It was shared in many countries with claims that it was filmed in Paris or in Spain and that it shows the police arresting aggressive passengers or passengers who refused to wear a mask during the COVID pandemic. So what is really happening? First, you need to download the free tool Invid We Verify. It was developed for fact checkers, journalists and researchers and is very useful to investigate videos and images. Once you've downloaded it, it will appear with plugins on the top right corner of your screen. You can click here on the pin to have the icon always visible on the bar. Next, click on the icon Invid We Verify on the top right corner of your screen and click on Open Toolbox. Click on Keyframe and then in the bar to paste the link of the video. Copy paste the URL of the video from Facebook in this box, then click on Submit. You might need to repeat this process in case it doesn't work the first time, and if it still doesn't work, you can try by downloading the video and uploading it as a file. The program will extract frames, like screenshots, from each sequence of the video. Now you can see several screenshots or keyframes taken from the video. We will use them to run a reverse image search. You will want to select the screenshots and you will want to use the clearest one with the most details to give to the search engine. Do a right click, for instance, with this one. You can see the Invid plugin here. Now you can select which search engine you want to use to run the search. Let's start with Google. In this case, Google could not find the same video, and in the similar images, none seem to be from the video from Facebook. Let's go back to India. Let's try the same screenshots, but with Yandex, the Russian search engine. This is a lot better. We see here a link that looks like it gives more information. And we can see, on the right, more images that look from the same video. Let's click on the link first. Now we have a link that clearly shows the same video, but it's in Turkish, which I don't speak, so I'll ask Google to translate the page for me. It says that the video shows the police arresting football ultras in Bucharest, and it makes more sense, because the police officers look like anti-riot police, not the type you see in public transportation. Of course, this is not a proof. I do not know this website, and it does not even look like a news website. But it gives me a lead. Now I will try to find information in Romanian media about the video. Let's go to Google Translate and type Police in the Metro and Bucharest. Now, let's copy-paste the translation in Google and add Dynamo for the name of one of the team mentioned on the link in Turkish. Let's try this result. Click on Translate from Romanian. So here we have a media report in Romanian about the incidents between the police and the supporters. It says that one group of supporters went into the metro station Stefan Tel Mare in Bucharest. Let's see this other link. It talks about the same event and shows the same video. But is this the right place? Let's check on Google Maps. According to the media report, the incident happened in the metro station Stefan Tel Mare in Bucharest. Let's see what this station looks like. We go to Google Map and type Stefan Tel Mare and click on the results that indicate public transportation. 
Let's look at this photo, for instance. It says it was posted in December 2017. Does this look like the video? Let's go back to our keyframes. We can click on Show Detail View for more images. How about this one? Do a right click and click on Open in a new tab. Now let's put this image next to the one on Google Map. The floor looks identical, as well as the yellow panels and the light on the ceiling. Let's scroll down for more images. Here we can also see that the metro train at this station is identical to the one we saw in the video. From there, we will keep on investigating, but we can already say that the video was taken at the metro station Stefan Selmare in Bucharest and that Romanian media have reported about it. We could also contact the police to confirm. I hope you liked this tutorial. Don't hesitate to share or leave a comment. And if you would like to learn more about techniques for online investigation, please have a look at AFP's course on digitalcourses.afp.com.